that loss in the coach, uh, uh, the coaching staff decided to shuffle in a few players. However, for NU, it's uh, basically the yeah. same lineup for them. So let's see how the starting five of Misal will perform. The key is Meeker will be coming off the bench along with Andre Karakut. Big issue for uh, Isagaya to really step it up uh, against this very good rebounding team, uh, De La Salle University. Actually, they out-rebounded Ateneo even in that loss. So that's one department for sure that Enyu will have to take care of here today. Definitely it speaks to the matchup that we pointed out before the game. Let's see who's going to prevail. Lojera, a former soaring Falcon, gives it up to Malonzo. Pounding, pressuring defense on Malonzo to start the ball game. Ibayan is really going to be have a hard afternoon today, trying to stay in front of Malonzo. Meantime, Karakut is fouled on the switch. Ibayan will be called for his first personal foul. Andre Karakut just aggressively going foul. over that Once screen. The defender not ready to, to show ending up with that foul. Melesho, who really didn't shoot all that well from beyond the arc in their last game. Two of Ash and two of Nine. Dribble, three point shot. That's one of his specialties. Seven points in their last game for Aljun Melesho. There's a one leg step back Dave for Eldefonso. Right on cue also, Dave Eldefonso, someone we have to look at. A great one legged fadeaway. That's a Jollibee 100% amazing move of the quarter. Here's Baltasar, who had a double-double in the last game, easily lays it in. Good move, good recognition by Andre Carapult on the pass to Baltasar in a mismatch. And he's trying to show hard that they have to recover back. Dibayan posting up Malonzo. There's a soft double team coming from Baltasar, a three on the way. And that is not the strength of Gil Difonso. He was two of ten, if I'm not mistaken, in that last game from beyond the arc. Here's a three-pointer from Lojera, hit the backboard. There's Steele. Malonzo, that length. <laughs> it really allowed him to... And anticipation in passing lane. Yeah, exactly. Guard those passing lanes as Milesho knocks in a two. Milesho. Looking good for that fresh starting lineup for uh, LaSalle right now. Milesho with five points to start that ball game. Mosqueda, only one field goal for Mosqueda and one free throw in that last game. Lost to Adamson. Here's Oxon, who was hot from beyond the arc in the first quarter, but really struggled after that. Calle with a wild shot. Good defense for LaSalle in that possession. Nice go-ahead pass to Lojera, and Lojera is Lohera. off the board. That's a C2 fast break of the game. Good defense translating to great offense. Good outlet pass for that one, le uh, one uh, left-handed shot for Lojera. El Defonso guarded by Lojera, who's a very good defender. He moves his feet well and can body up against some of the big guys. Misses again. El Defonso is 0 for 2 from beyond the arc. Baltasar guarded by Galle. Justin Baltasar can't manufacture his own offense. Here's Lojera. Kicks it out to Karakut. Karakut for three. Yes! And Karakut three! Life Vision player of the game. Karakut makes it a 10-point lead for DLSU. So the guards now, Flasal doing a great job shooting the ball. Karakut and Milesho getting on the board early. Two threes made by DLSU. And we're, we're not even four minutes into the first quarter. Mosqueda dropping it down to Gaye. Gaye underneath. Nothing there. Good defense for Justin Baltasar, not fouling that inside move. Melesho, foot on the line. Misses Baltasar, keeping it alive, but there is a foul on Malonzo. Holding foul, a clear point there. A while ago, we see uh, Lohera and insert as a start to But you see this great, great read. Just pulling up on, you can't leave uh, Melesho wide open from three. 
end with that floater too. Again, I was saying, Lohera inserted in the starting line of it. Cross court. Baltasar on the catch and shoot. A little too strong. Malonzo keeping it alive. It was tapped out of bounds. Referees say it's on Sean and Alfonso. That's the uh, athleticism of and activity of Jamie Malonzo showed in the first game. Really crashing the boards every chance he gets. He's 6'7. The guy is long. And he can jump out of the ceiling. That's right. <laughs> oh, Baltasar showing us some range. That's something he's added to this game. Eric Baltasar with that three point shot. Good looking three. Biggest lead at 11 for the Green Archers. Bulldogs have not tasted the lead here. And this is quite different from their performance against Adamson when they were, they were in control right from the beginning. Gaye, that's really too far from him and his range. That's a travel. I think it's the physicality of Baltazar really giving problems to his Gaye. You know, maybe the last, uh, you know, you mentioned Duanga, he didn't have that much trouble, but you can see that he's more physical than him. And he's got a three point shot. Good looking three by Justin Baltazar. Karakut. Almost a steal by Sean El Defonso. Baltasar this time That's along it, two. Good looking shots for LaSalle. They're shooting great today. 66% already from the Ooh. field. So that's pretty high to start the ball game with 19 points. And it's a 13 point lead now for DLSU. Their biggest of the game. El Defonso working, kicking it out. There's a little pep in the step of LaSalle. And on the flip side, NU seems a little slower, except for Dave El Defonso. That's, that's a Yamaha Mio number one move. Good move by David Defonso. Going to the strong side, that's really his right side. Attacking the, the hole. Bulldogs off and running. Sean nowhere to go. Dave kicks it out to Oxon. Mosqueda has it. He wants to set it up. Mosqueda looking to drive against Malonzo. The bounce pass easily anticipated by Baltasar. Gaia gets it back. Gaia drives and puts it in. Close call. Lucky there to get that ball. Serrano wants a pick from Tyrus Hill, a former soaring uh, Falcon as well. Outside shot, Meeker, his He's first field goal in the Ooh. UAAP. And that is a pure goal, always Spanalo move. Good drive, good pick to shooter Meeker, showing, showing us his range. Meeker was 0 for 4 in 8 minutes of action in his first stint as a green archer. Out the pass, Hill. Oh, sorry, miss from close range. Going that layup, good outlet pass, however, not finishing. Nice layup there by Come John Lloyd Clemente. Makes his presence felt. That's a danger against NU. If you give them transition points, they're going to capitalize every single time. Clemente, 11 points and 4 of 10 from the field in their first game. Manuel missing from outside. And Minerva. A rookie with a rebound. Oh, the pass inside. Hoson was not prepared. And he was being guarded by Manuel, who was a much bigger defender. See that drive, that handoff. There's enough space to rise up for that three. Good shot by Meeker. Asal protecting a 10 point lead here. Lojera is back in the game. Manuel steps out. It's a pretty athletic lineup for DLSU. Meeker driving, kicking. Serrano picked it up. Lojera now has it. Seven to shoot. Lojera drives. A little wild, a little too strong off the glass. Good attempt. Just failed to make that layup. Good challenge by the part of NU. Galinato. Seeing action for the first time for NU in season 82. Trying to milk down the clock. Six seconds to shoot. Galinato runs into a double team and throws it away. Another turnover for NU. That's already, I think, five turnovers for them in this first quarter. Meeker spots up. And that does it for the first 
quarter of action. What a start here for DLSU. At the end of the first Very good shooting from outside with Manesha hitting, of the Peaker hitting, University. and Kalanu hitting as well. Meantime, NU throwing up blanks, and they are down by 10, 22-12 after the first 10 minutes of action.